Ooh, ooh, ooh. I'm like trying not to cry because another video and as you can see we're in a different setting that is my kitchen because I'm going to be showing you guys what I eat in a day I actually asked my viewers on Instagram what they wanted to see next on my channel and it seems like you guys wanted some lifestyle videos especially on what I eat in a day so here we are as always before we get started make sure to give this video a big giant thumbs up subscribe down below share this video hit that notification bell, and do not forget to check out my Instagram and TikTok both at Peachy Queen official and now let's get right into it the first meal of the day is breakfast and for that we're gonna be making some pancakes to be honest my breakfast choice is very I either make myself some pancakes a smoothie or I just grab a muffin if I need a quick fix let's grab the ingredients <laughs> are finally together it's time to assemble these pancakes I got the recipe for these from a YouTube channel called all recipes and I'll probably put all the steps and ingredients on the screen just in case you guys want to eat like me I guess <laughs> one cup of flour two tablespoons of sugar cuz you know it's got to be a little sweet okay it says two tablespoons of baking powder which sounds like a lot but I guess if the recipe says so just plop it in with the rest of the stuff. A little bit of salt. I don't know if any of you guys watched Dora growing up, which you probably did because, hello, it's Dora. But who remembers that show, Bate, Bate, Chocolate? Every time I mix something, I think of that song. Bate, Bate, Chocolate. We're gonna do a cup of milk. I actually have almond milk right now. This is actually good. So if you've never tried almond milk before, I definitely recommend it. I'm filming the video. You can come down here. Let's fire up the stove so that my pancake pan can get nice and warm. Here's what the pancake mixture looks like. And this can make a lot of pancakes, so what I usually do is I store the extra batter in a Ziploc bag and save it for another morning. done making my pancakes I ended up making three and you guys didn't see this but while I was making them I also prepared a bowl of fruit because I want to make sure to get fruit in every single day you gotta freshen the meal up a little bit you know in here I have some apple cubes and mandarins and of course I have to have some syrup for my pancakes everyone comment down below your answer to this age-old question what's better pancakes or waffles I definitely like pancakes more don't get me wrong waffles are good but pancakes just hit different for me a lot of syrup and taste test time. Okay, wait. Mm hmm. Just as good as always. These ones are super fluffy and light, which I love. They're even better when you add chocolate chips to them. Don't forget to hydrate. Let's try the fruit. Mm. I don't know what kind of apples we bought, but these ones hit different. Mm. And mandarins are always good. Wait, peaches, I totally forgot I had whipped cream. So we've got to add these to the pancakes. Even though, oh, look at this. I don't know if that was a fail or a good thing, but at least we have whipped cream. All right, I'm going to finish this breakfast up and probably post on Instagram, but I'll see you when it's lunchtime. All right, peaches, it's a lot later now. I actually just came from the store because I got some supplies to make sushi. I've grown pretty fond of sushi in the past two years, and I also taught myself how to make it. Hopefully today I can make it look really nice and fancy, but I need to hurry up because I'm getting really hungry. On this plate, I have seaweed and my sushi roller. Inside of the sushi, I'm going to add on some surimi flakes mixed with mayo, some veggies, I have cucumbers and carrots, and on the outside of the sushi, I'm going to have my rice and top it off with avocado. Let's see, I've made sushi before, but I really want it to look nice and fancy today. Pray for me, peaches. I hope this turns out right. I don't use sushi rice. I just use regular rice and hope for the best. Right, time to roll this. I'm really hoping this turns out right. If it doesn't, then I don't know what we're gonna do. Ooh, ooh, ooh. The rice is not trying to stick. 
The rice is sticking to everything but the sushi. It's good we have the sushi roller to clean things up, right? There's our roll, not too bad. Let's see if I could do better on the next one. All right, well, here's what we've got, but that's not it. We're gonna add some stuff to make it look better. I diced up some avocados. This is different. Let me just spread it out through the top. Let's see, I gotta make it look fancy. Cause this saves you money. You don't need to buy sushi out all the time. You can make a lot more of it at home for cheaper. It's just that it takes a lot of manual labor. I hope you guys can see this cause it looks really bright on my camera. I've been here for almost an hour it feels like. I need to hurry this up so I can get some fuel. For dinner, we might just do takeout or something because all this cooking is tiring me out. Look at the avocados on there. I'm like trying not to cry because I'm having a really hard time right now. But I'm here making sushi, everybody. All I know is this sushi better taste amazing. All right, after all that time, here's what we have. It's not the best in my opinion, but I really tried. Actually being tired and annoyed, this is what I have here. The other roll, I didn't even bother cutting. But I'm gonna try to make this look even better by adding on some spicy mayo. These are just falling apart. I don't know, comment down below, would you eat this? Here we are with our Somewhat good final result of our sushi. I'm gonna eat it with soy sauce, of course. I've got to have soy sauce whenever I eat sushi. Less sodium so we can be healthy. Need a lot. All right, let's try it. Usually I like my sushi, so I have high hopes for this. Mm. I've come to the conclusion that I did all of that work for it to taste the exact same as it always does. You know what? At least it looks prettier. I have some pickled jalapenos. I'm gonna put that on top and see if that tastes any different. Mmm, -hmm. mm. that's good. It adds a little salty kick. I don't know, guys. Have you ever seen someone eat a whole sushi roll like this? Mmm. I've got to do what I've got to do. I don't have chopsticks right now. All in all, this is actually pretty good. I just wish it didn't take so much of my time. But I'm still hungry, so I'm going to finish this up, and I'll see you guys for dinner. All right, Peaches, as you can maybe tell, it is nighttime, a.k.a. dinner time, and we got some Mediterranean food takeout. Here is what my food looks like. As you can see, I already took some bites, but I got some lamb kebab pieces in here. French fries, pita bread, salad, and hummus. Also a piece of falafel that my mom gave me. If you've never tried Mediterranean food, you need to try it, it's really good. And it's also healthy for you. I cannot forget my tzatziki sauce. If you don't know me, I'm a sauce person. I eat sauce with almost everything. So let's get into this. Mmm, it's seasoned so well. Mmm, wow guys. You can tell they season their food. Also, you might have noticed that I'm wearing totally different clothes, and that's because it's a totally different day. Too much was happening on the day that I started filming this video, so I decided to finish it now, and I'm happy that I got takeout, because I feel like it's more interesting. So that's that little explanation for you. But tonight, I have to finish editing this video, so I'm gonna show you a little bit more of the food, and then I'm gonna go. Some fries and tzatziki. Mmm. Always a good combo for me. And also hummus. I used to think hummus would be gross, but once I tried it, it's actually really good. So I'm telling you guys, don't be afraid to try new things because they might look one way, but they taste great, even sushi. I think I tried sushi for real for the first time like three years ago, and I enjoyed it, but way before that, I thought it was gonna be disgusting. Please try new things. Let me get in some salad because you gotta be healthy too. <laughs> Alright Peaches, that is it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. You already know what to do. Please make sure to give it a big giant thumbs up. Subscribe down below. Share this video. Hit that notification bell. And do not forget to check out my Instagram and my TikTok, both at Peach Queen Official. Also, before we end this, let me know if you want more lifestyle videos like this. Because I'd definitely be willing to make them for you guys. And I'll see you all next time. Love you all. Bye.